lip is, again, a place where you can have fun, I do recommend carrying lip palettes as well. Palettes really allow you to maximize your space um, and to really play and be creative with the colors that you're creating. This is a 32 lip palette from Crown. And they really kind of give you everything you need for your reds and your pinks and your oranges. And you can kind of play and adjust those. And for me, honestly, lip is really one of those places where I don't feel like you need to spend a lot of money. Um, other makeup artists would disagree with me, but to spend $24 on a lipstick, I'm always like, I can, I can create that color. I can go in with my flash color case and create any color that I need or adjust any color. And so for me, uh, lip tends to be a place where you can look and say, where do I really want to spend this money? I might tend to spend more on my foundations or my powders or my mascara. Well, no, not really mascara because it's disposable. But, um, lip for me, palette is the way to go. With your lip shades, make sure you have your basics, your reds, your oranges, your nudes. Look at where makeup is right now and say, do you have that color that's hot right now? Right now, bold reds, bright pinks, those fuchsias, those oranges are what everyone is wearing and everyone is talking about. Make sure you have those. With glosses, I would say you don't need to carry. If you've got a great color range in your lipstick and you've got a great clear gloss, you now have an endless supply of glosses as well. And I would like to tell you that you only need to carry a clear gloss with your lipstick, but I'm a gloss person. So I actually carry an entire um, thing full of glosses as well and glosses as well. I probably have more glosses in my kit than anything else, but I love, I love the way a gloss looks and I love to actually go in and sculpt. Here's the trick. Gloss only goes in the center of the mouth. If you're bringing gloss all over the lip, it just looks like this, and it's making your lip makeup look not its best. So glosses, have some fun with. And if you're keeping the rest of your kit really compact, you can really bring in the product that you love and play with that. Lip tars from OCC, I love them. Uh, I don't recommend putting them into other containers because they have a life of their own. I recommend keeping them in their original tube. I love these bags from the powder group because I can kind of go in and pack like with like so that when I'm putting it into my kit, I've got all of my glosses together, all of my pencils and liners together. And then I can bring them in and I'm very organized when I'm setting up um, wherever I am. Uh, finally, I would say lip pencil is a great thing to think about. I'm not a big pencil person. The only way I tend to use pencils is if I'm using it as the primary color on the lip. Uh, for me, if I'm using a lip pencil, I'm using it to sculpt and shape, and so I prefer to, even with a red or a bright or a bold color, I like to use a pencil that's the same color as the lip or the complexion. So I tend to carry some soft pinks and browns and things like that, and I'm a Mac, I'm a Mac pencil, lip pencil person. I think they, they got it, they nailed it. Their shades tend to be beautiful and long-lasting and have the right amount of emolliency for um, that part of the face.